Hi guys, this is William and welcome to the fourth video where we'll be discussing some graphical elements. So in this section we will discuss graphic related topics. This ranges from how items are drawn in front of and behind other objects and how to set that. You do have the the files available in the link below so you can go and grab these project files you can grab the documentation so that's all available for you uh, once again you have a scene and a scene underscore completed just make sure to open the underscore scene this is the one you're going to work in now the first thing I quickly want to show is just the object in our hallway which is fish tank swim now this is an animation right here that we've got and uh, it's a little fish that swims across the screen now this is obviously on our canvas I can see it there uh, but let's quickly take a look if I play the game how this appears if I use the fish tank okay there's a slight offset you can see there's a slight offset of the image so I'm quickly going to change this so that it's more pronounced and I'll explain what I'm doing right now here I've got a preview area so I want to preview my animation so I just ensure it's ticked there I can now access it and I can move it using this tool so let's say I want to place this fish animation over this this uh, under underlying image you can see that it's a bit difficult to align it right it's it's very tough and there's a lot of trial and error but let's let's do a very job a bad job let's leave it there and let's play our scene And look at that that's very pronounced that's a very pronounced uh, offset which is not great now what is an easy way to align your animations with the background scene you do this in the preview area here I enabled the image to be shown on my canvas and then I have something called a visibility slider so I'm just gonna take this lower and you can see now my animation is transparent which allows me to properly align it with the under underlying image there we go and this I can move up again now keep in mind that this has no effect in the game itself it is simply here for you as a tool to to properly align items you can also set all visibility objects by using the slider here uh, but I have now properly aligned my items. I think they look great. So let's play the scene. Still a slight offset. We can make that better. Let's quickly just do that. Just one or two. Okay, that looks good. So let's talk about drawing order. And for this, I've created a scene called Draw Example. Now, what we have here, we have a room with two objects, a green box and a red box. And what I also have here is I have a way system entered. So here are my way borders. Here, my character can walk. These areas in here, my character cannot walk. If you wanted to exclude areas from being walkable, click on way borders and here when I press alt on my keyboard I can now select areas like that and my character cannot walk in that area so that's how I did this and then here I have my waypoints character can walk from there to there and so on now let's play my scene and take a look okay, so this is clearly not okay right doesn't look okay at all and the reason is it's because of how these objects are drawn now all objects are drawn based on a draw list if I go back to my object here I have my draw list objects are drawn on your screen in a specific order and this really defines what appears in front of and behind your character and the order of how objects are drawn as the scene appears so in my example here I can see that we've got two objects the red box 
is drawn behind the green box at this point in time. Now, the reason why this is, is it's because of this draw list right here. The draw list defines how the objects are being drawn. This, the red box gets drawn first, then the green box, and so on. I can change this. If I wanted to change the draw order, I can just use the arrow right there, and look what happened. But this doesn't look right, so I'm going to change this back by using these little arrows. Right, this looks fine. But now still, even though objects are being drawn correctly, my character is not being drawn correctly in relation to these objects. Now what's going on here? We need to define what we call an object center for each object. And this is how Visionaire will know when to draw things in front of and behind our character when our game plays. So what we need to do is we need to select our object. I'll select my green box. And then on the properties page, we have what we call an object center. Currently, this is set to minus one, which means our character is not drawn correctly. So we need to set it by clicking on this little button right there. And when I do this, I'll get a separate screen. And I now need to define the object center. I'm going to click right there. And then I see a line appears. Now what this means is that if my character is above this line, it will be drawn behind this object. If my character is in front of this line, it will be drawn in front of my object. Right? And I'm going to do exactly the same for my red box. I'm going to do that there. And I'm going to click OK. So now let's play our scene. That looks a bit better. There we go. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Right? So it looks a lot better and items are being drawn as we want. The last very important item here is this button called Sort Objects by Object Center. And what this does is if you have a list of a bunch of objects, all with object centers, it may be that the object centers, the draw item and the object center do not match. So here, my my red box is drawn on top of my green box, so that doesn't look right. But my object center, uh, this is higher than this, right? So this will lead to anomalies in your in your sys in your game. If you ever find that your character is not being drawn correctly, uh, or the objects are not being drawn correctly, even though you've done everything you should, a quick fix is always, always, always click this button, because this will correct your items for you. Always click this. It will sort it by the object center, which is exactly what you want. So once again, whenever you find anomalies with how things are being drawn, click that sort by object center and it should be corrected. All right, guys, so that is this video. Uh, thank you for your uh, time. The next video, we're going to start with inventory. We're going to start with conditions. So I'll see you in that one.